Hello histology students and welcome to this um, review session where I will be covering the first four weeks of the course everything up until uh, muscle. Um, this review uh, as I say here is meant as an aid to your studying it does not substitute for reading the descriptive texts and studying Myers histology. About 75% I would guess <coughs> of what will be on the uh, quiz it will be covered in this review. The other 25% you will need to read the descriptive text and go through Myers histology uh, in, order to, um, uh, in order to do well uh, uh, on the test. Now first of all we'll start with staining. This was the first uh, substantive topic uh, that we covered. As I mentioned there are only a few um, uh, stains that you will need to know at this point uh, of the histology class. The first one is the elastic stain which stains all elastic tissue black and this one is <coughs> very easy uh, to see. The second one is our old friend hematoxylin and eosin which you answered a number of questions on and everyone did very well uh, in identifying the, uh, the um, uh, hematoxylin part staining the uh, acidic tissues, the nuclei, ribosomes and cartilage, blue or purple, and the proteins, uh, muscle, mitochondria, collagen, etc. stained red. Masson's trichrome is another one that you have come across and that is a general connective tissue stain which differentiates collagen uh, which is stained blue from um, nuclei, muscles, uh, etc., uh, which are stained red. And also it will stain elastin, elastic tissue, light pink to light blue. Somewhat difficult to see and I don't think you've had the opportunity to examine tissues uh, or elastic tissues which are stained with Masson's trichrome. One that you have looked at is the periodic acid Schiff stain which uh, is used to detect uh, uh, tissues which are rich in sugars such as basement membranes, cells that contain glycogen, mucus secreting cells such as goblet cells and uh, other uh, mucus uh, glands uh, and, um, and of course uh, any tissue that contains lots of polysaccharides. Um, another one that you might uh, need to look at is the trichrome stain, but really trichrome is just a, a, a version of either Mallory's or Masson's stain and they, uh, the staining characteristics are the same um, <coughs> whether we use Masson's or Mallory's trichrome stain. <coughs> so let's look at a couple of these. Uh, stains. Here's the periodic acid shift stain which stains carbohydrate rich structures and basal laminae have uh, type 4 collagen in them and type 4 collagen is a carbohydrate rich type of reticular <coughs> collagen and so the basal laminae basement membranes uh, of epithelial cells stain well with the stain. Additionally, um, erythrocytes, red blood cells, stain yellowy uh, orange uh, with the PAS stain. And connective tissue that contains a lot of, um, uh, a lot of um, carbohydrates will also stain red with, uh, with the stain. <coughs> but particularly you need to remember that this is a stain that brings out basement membranes. Masson's trichrome or Mallory's trichrome stain um, <coughs> will stain um, 
co uh, connective tissue, uh, a rich blue or sometimes green, um, but generally blue, um, will stain muscle uh, red. In this uh, slide, I've brought up cardiac muscle, but the same would be true with skeletal muscle or, um, or smooth muscle. Um, and where you have a mixture of connective tissue overlying uh, muscle, it will stain a sort of a purplish color. <clears throat> and additionally, it will stain erythrocytes, red blood corpuscles, seen in this vessel here, uh, a reddish uh, color. I'm not going to worry about the polychrome stain. I put this in here, but it's not something that you've looked at, so we won't worry about it for this uh, exam. <clears throat> Finally, the elastic stain um, stains elastic fibers in connective tissue, a very dark black, so that's very easy for you to identify. This is a, a vessel of some kind, probably a vein, and you can see that there's some staining in the lining of, of this vein, some staining of elastic tissue in the lining of the vein. And there definitely are elastic fibers in the um, lining, uh, the, the tunica media, it's called, which you will learn later on, of, of vessels. Uh, you can also see here that the um, nuclei, the endothelial cells lining this vein, are also stained black. But that's not because they have elastic tissue in them. It's just a characteristic of this type of stain.